Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kuro. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are jumping into another Generation Zero collectible guide video. So we're taking a look at the all the gnome locations in today's one. So yeah, sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so first one on the list is the Unpainted Garden Gnome. Now this one is pretty, pretty easy to find. Uh, you're going to want to come to the starting area down here of uh, Yitavik. Um, so yeah, it's at the first house here, rough coordinates will be uh, 4,118 by 2,206. As you guys can see, you just want to come to this yellow house. It's the first house, you, you can't really miss it in the campaign. Um, and yeah, there he is right there. Little guy blends in uh, quite nicely. But yeah, so a uh, good way to start off the first one. Let's uh, jump into the next one. So for the classic gnome, or the classic garden gnome, you want to come to my location here, you can't miss it. Uh, right on the um, bottom end of the archipelago region, uh, it's the uh, radar station. Obviously it's been like partially blown up. Um, if you played the uh, the mission, you know exactly what's going on, so no spoilers, sorry guys. So the rough coordinates for this um, classic garden gnome is negative 1615 by 3741. What you want to do is you want to come to this burning building, it is on fire, obviously, as you guys can see. You want to just quickly run past this, and as you guys can see, the uh, yeah, the uh, the classic gnome is on the porta potty. Nice and easy, guys. See you in the next one. Alrighty, guys. So for the dark side gnome, you want to come to my location here, which is located at the top right hand side of the archipelago region. Now it is at the uh, the ferry pier. The rough location would be seven zero nine by two two four one. There is a uh, safe house nearby, so it is quite easy to get to. Now, what we're going to do is, he is actually stationed on top of this, um, on top of this roof right here. So, what you want to do, you're going to have to do a little bit of parkour. So, you're just going to have to open the, the boot or the trunk of the car, whatever you want to call it, and then kind of like run along the, uh, run along the top of the car, and then just like yeet yourself up here. Otherwise, you can't actually just get it from down below. So, yeah, guys, bit of fun for, uh, for the dark side gnome. So the Devil Gnome, you want to come to this location here. Now it is a, just in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of just a uh, tourist attraction as, a, as as you guys can see here. It is in between a side mission and the uh, Valing Church within the uh, Farmlands region. So the rough coordinates for this one will be negative uh, 1485 by 69. Haha, -ha, very funny. But yes, yeah, so you want to come to um, this little like... Um, I don't even know. There's like all rocks and stuff. It kind of looks like... Uh, claws or some shit coming through the ground and uh the uh the little creepy bastard that is uh just here nice and easy Alrighty, guys so now for the evil gnome so you want to come to my location over here now we are in the uh, south coast region just outside of uh, uh tangle kill tanga kill i don't know i can't i can't pronounce these names so you want to come to this location over here. Sorry, just let me remove that waypoint. So right there. So it is roughly a rough coordinates, negative 4,195 by 3358. Yep. And what you want to do is just this um, lone kind of uh, shack on this little island. And um, yeah, he's just hiding behind the wheelbarrow. Oh, damn. He's got like blood coming out of his mouth. That's crazy. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. All righty, guys, so for the radiation gnome, you want to come to my location over here. It's pretty pretty dark and desolate over here, so you want to come to the bottom, more, more or less the bottom end of the uh, south coast region. The rough coordinates for the radiation gnome are negative 5357 by 4119. And all you want to do is come to this little uh, little dock area, and uh, the poor little bastard is here, all green and sadzy in, in the rain. All righty, let's jump to the next one. Alright guys, so in order to find the green plumber gnome, you want to come to my location over here. So it's just outside of the um, Ostevik. So there is a, uh, well, it is inside Ostevik. It's Ostevik's um, industrial uh, like area, industrial facility, whatever you want to call it. So the rough coordinates for this one will be uh, 597 by negative 505. And all you want to do is come to this little building over here. It's right next to a yellow uh, cargo container. And uh, yeah, it's just around, the, just around the corner right here on the little... Uh, Grill, I guess you could call it. A little barbecue. Yeah, alrighty. Let's jump into the next one. Alrighty, guys. So the Italian plumber gnomes, basically the uh, the Mario of the gnomes. You want to come to my location on the map. 
which is just down here. Sorry, let me remove the waypoint. Again, so we're in the south coast region towards the top. It's just a little bit down from a safe house at the um, Angaras Church on the coast. It's nice and easy to get to just outside of the uh, a camp location. Uh, a Phoenix camp location, sorry. But yeah, anyway, so the rough coordinates for the Italian plumber gnome is negative uh, 3796 by 2498. What you want to do is you want to come across this little boardwalk right here and you just want to follow the deck all the way around and uh, there he is. Nice and easy. Alrighty guys, so to find the light side gnome, all we need to do is come to my location on the map just down here again. It's just in the south coast region, just the left of the uh, Angerist church. So the rough coordinates for this are uh, negative 4627 by 1628. And all you want to gonna do is come to this location and he's just sat on top of a, um, on some rocks. Nice and easy. Oh, well, you have to jump up to get him for some reason. But yeah, nice and easy. Alrighty guys, so to find the Father Gnome, you'll have to come to my location. It is on the pier down in um, Ostevik. Can't miss it. The rough coordinates for this uh, location will be 1460 by 13. And again, you can't miss it. There's two gantry cranes on the end of a pier. All you have to do is walk down to the edge of the pier. And um, yeah, you'll see the uh, the father no more. All by his lonesome. Easy peasy. So in order to find the, uh, the princess gnome, you want to come to my location here. It is pretty hostile. There's a tank like right next to us. So it is just here in the apartment blocks in um, Ostevik. So the rough coordinates for this will be uh, 963 by negative 78. So all you have to do is come to this apartment building, exactly where I'm looking. So where the uh, the front facade with all the um, with all the construction gear and stuff, and all the ramps, scaffolding. That's what I was trying to find. So you want to come through the left hand door because the right hand door is uh, locked. So what you have to do is you have to go all the way down and then back up on yourself where the locked door is. Go up a few levels, and uh, there she is, the uh, the princess gnome. Alrighty guys, so next on the list is the uh, the purple gnome. So what you want to do, it's a little bit more fun or interesting than the rest of them. So you want to come to my location here. So it is actually at the Cat Carrot like, Lake or Homestead, whatever you want to call it. So you want to come to the furthest most um, like garage, like away from the homestead. So the rough coordinates will be um, 1,926 by negative 2412. Now what you have to do is, you go in, like you come into the garage or garage, whatever you want to call it, and it's actually up in the rafters, stuck there. And obviously, yeah, you can't you can't just jump up and click on it. So what you have to do is actually blow up the uh, the gas canister, and it actually unlocks it for you. So uh, one of one of the more interesting uh, ways to collect the. Uh, to collect the gnomes, but yeah, works nevertheless. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Alrighty guys, so the rainbow gnome is at coordinates negative 4773 by negative 425. It's just outside of Clint on the, um, on like the water's edge. And all you have to do is run down these rafters of this little deck and there he is, the little, uh, little rainbow gnome. Alrighty, let's jump to the next one. So guys, the red gnome is next up on the list. So you want to come to my location here. It is right on like the edge of like a little, uh, little, well, I don't even know, little mountain area over here in the mountains region. Perfect view of the, uh, these adjacent like mountains and stuff, oh, little islands and shit. But anyway, so you want to come to this location. It is coordinates negative 3198 by negative 1462. And it is right here, just on the uh, the top of this little cliff. A little island thing. Easy peasy. So to get the bronze gnome, all you have to do is come to the village of Hagaboda. Hope I pronounced that right. And the rough coordinates for the uh, bronze gnome are... 857 by negative 4295 so it's in between a gas station and some other few buildings you come around the back of this brick building next to these blue doors and uh there he is nice and easy 
Alrighty guys, so the silver gnome is up next. So you want to come to my location over here. It is actually a safe house in uh, Stenmeyer. So it's the Stenmeyer church. All you have to do is run to the tippy top of the uh, the church steeple, I think it's called. And it's just in the, um, just sitting in the window ledge. Oops. So it couldn't get much easier than this, guys. There he is. That's the silver gnome. Alrighty guys, so the Swedish gnome is next up on the list. So you want to come to this location over here. It is at Damfale Farm. It's um, at the top of the mountains region. So its uh, coordinates are roughly negative 2, 4, 20 by negative 15, 09. And what you want to do is you want to come to this location here, this house in between some barns. What you want to do is close this door and it will be located right there, right at the front door. I did or accidentally pick it up because I was... Uh, getting attacked by some apocalypse class guys. So I apologize for that. Let's uh, jump onto the next one. Alrighty guys, so for the Yultman, or the, yeah, yeah the Yultman uh, gnome, sorry, I can't pronounce these Swedish, uh, these Swedish names. So you wanna come to my location here, it is at the top of a lighthouse. I'll give you the location just over here at the Carl Eric Lighthouse. Uh, we're in the marshlands regions towards the uh, top of the map. The coordinates for this gnome will be negative 2906 by negative 3708. All you have to do is work your way to the tippy top of this lighthouse. And uh, yeah, it's right in front of the door. Nice and easy. Alrighty guys, so we got the yellow gnome. You want to come to this location over here. Let me just remove this waypoint. So just over here on the coast, it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's just a bit above the tourist attraction. Uh, there's Candid's Borg and just a little bit away from the Cal Broden safe house. So the rough locations are 1889 by negative 4130. So he's just in a little boat. There's a yellow, uh, Mr. Yellow Gnome in the yellow boat. Nice and fitting guys, super easy. Let's jump to the next one. Alrighty guys, so we are up to the second last gnome, which is the Hippie Gnome. Its coordinates are uh, 1630 by negative 3098, just on the right hand side of the Loveness Homestead, just a bit below the uh, St. Anna Church. And all you want to do is come to this location here. It's a nice, nice little open water. And uh, yeah, you just run to the end. And uh, there he is, the little hippie gnome with his, with his little radio. Too easy. All right, let's jump to the last one. Alrighty, guys. So lucky last gnome. It is the last gen gnome. Its coordinates are 2294 by negative 3911. We are at the top right-hand side of the North Coast region, just a bit above the, um, the safe house. Over here at the lighthouse, sorry. And yeah, he's just he's just chilling. He's just chilling on the end of this deck. I don't get why you have to uh, be on the same level as some uh, as like the gnomes to pick him up, but oh well. So there we are. So we had the last one. We got the uh, gardener achievement unlocked. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as always. It helps me heaps because these videos do take a while to uh, to record. But yeah, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. We will be going through the rest of the collectibles as well. So I might start with the mixtapes and then we'll work our way down. Alrighty guys, so until next time, take it easy, peace.